a hero. We're just in the tunnel, guys. Gone unnoticed. Oh, this is Pakistani style Egyptian Airlines. A test of courage. I'm a bold guy. Have you ever seen a more majestic sight than this? He's randomly handing out dates. A it triumph of will. 37 degrees. It's like getting punched in the face with a really hot oven glove. He's your grandfather's father, Sahaba. Hey. I don't know what you guys are thinking. I don't know what a baby pigeon looks like. Well, calm down. I'll show you. Then we done. A triumph of will. It's a big drop. You gotta love these umbrellas. This is what you call an army of flames. They lived in the shadows. This is Masjid Kuba, guys. This is Masjid Qiblatain. A lot of dates, guys. This and I was here before you. I even challenged you. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. On the way to Umrah. Very nice. It's all good. <laughs> How long is it delayed by? One hour. Delayed by one hour. On the way to Umrah. Very nice. We're delayed just on wudu. Because last time I done wudu on the plane, it was chaos. We're going from Heathrow to Cairo, then from Cairo we're going to Jeddah. Seems like I'm on the longest uh, escalator in the world. Ooh. We're just in the tunnel, guys, on our way. This is Pakistani style Egyptian Airlines. We've broken the handle. beauty of Saudi Arabia look at this palm trees this is not a holiday and this is not a leisure trip this is a special trip in the sense we've come to the place which is known as the soul of the world Baytullah is the soul of the world as long as Baytullah is here the world will remain she can do it why can't we Yes, that's right. I'm a bald guy. No hair. Not a single hair. It's all bald and shiny. So I'd give you a quick uh, tour of the room. Bed. Another bed. Creepy toilet. Here's where I'm napping. Nice. Now, this may look like an ordinary cupboard. But no, lo and behold, it's actually a fridge. <laughs> yeah. Yes, with a five year guarantee. Here's uh, all we got, and here's all we need. Seeing the Kaaba for the first time, I uh, just brought a lot of emotions. Uh, stuff like that you can't record, and I mean, I'm not really. I'm not in favor of recording whilst doing tawaf or say your umrah. Nah, the camera stays off. And uh, I mean, it's all about the experience. Not even a, a selfie. Oh, there's a there's a car by there. Just gonna put my back towards it and I take a little selfie. Nah. Then say, oh man, there's literally you're doing say, and there's so many lessons in it. Literally so many lessons. Like Hajar alayhi salam. We all know the story. Hassan Ismail alayhi salam was crying, so she went from Safa to Marwa to look for water. She couldn't find anything. Then she came back to Safa. Then she went to Marwa seven times. So from Safa to Marwa one, Marwa to Safa two. So she went back and forth seven times. Yeah, I mean, people like us, we were doing it. And after three, four, you start feeling it. And for her to keep going, it shows so much commitment and so much tawakkul in Allah that, you know, Allah's commanded my husband Ibrahim salam, to leave me here. And she's just running from one mountain to the other. No, if he's commanded him to leave us here, surely he will provide. 
and seven times whoa, you do feel it and Allah but there were some times like where the green lights are she starts running more and more uh, she increases her pace Allah Akbar, you really feel that emotion of her, how she must have been going through. Now there's marble and fans and everything, but in her days it must have been just sand and the, the open sky. For her to go from one to the other to the other, commitment, dedication, tawakkul in Allah, you know, to such a degree, and she would have continued, I'm sure she would have continued. Have you ever seen a more majestic sight than this? Allah Akbar. Coming here and just staring at the house of Allah. No matter what time you come, it will always be packed. And all because of the effort of Ibrahim السلام, and his son Ismail. السلام. What's amazing is to think that once upon a time the Prophet وسلم, walked these very places. He was the one doing tawaf around the Kaaba. This is how the Haram looks like from inside when there's no one here, guys. Here's the Zamzam -zam system guys, mashallah they put them in coolers and it's ice cold Apart from this one, which you can see is not Just on my way home guys, mashallah very long and productive day Inshallah if Allah accepts, mashallah as you can see From behind people still going in their multitudes Hello Mr. Cathy <laughs> He's randomly handing out dates It is 37 degrees. It's like getting punched in the face with a really hot oven glove repeatedly. He's your grandfather's father, Sahaba. MashaAllah. You have son of Mawjood? Which, uh, you know which Sahabi? شوف هذا غزوة الأحزاب غزوة الأحزاب مشركين كيهود كله هذا صحابة كرام هذا مشركين يهود هذا حف هنا سوي كذا خندق خندق الله ها هذا واحد هنا مشركين اسمه نعيم بن مسعود الغطفاني نعيم بن مسعود هو كان مشرك بعدين جاء عند رسول قال أنا أسلم أشهد أن لا إله قال له ارجع Turn to your kuffar and make uh, this is no good. I said it's no good. Ah. So, so uh, you all know how to uh, do you? No. Why? Make dua. Inshallah. It's very hard in London to find good zawja. Ah. The zawja don't like uh, huh? lihya. Here. Lihya ma fi. It's Muslim in Kadir, India, from India. From Fashion, uh, very small lahia, yeah. and uh, nisa, uh, hub, uh, small, small yeah. lahia, <laughs> big lahia, oh, uh, al Qaeda. Yeah. <laughs> what a majestic sight! As I've said many a times, 120 blessings fall on the Kaaba, 60 for those who do tawaf, 40 for those who pray in the vicinity of the Kaaba and 20 for those who just stare at the Kaaba. So we are on the third floor. So that's one, this is two and then this is us on the third one. It's 9.46 at night. So we finished praying our Isha Salah 
and we waited half an hour and then to avoid the rush we waited for everyone to go then we came to the third floor yet this is still the rush on the third floor subhanallah this is just the footprint of ibrahim alayhi salam look how allah honors these people the people uh, they feel so blessed just to touch the enclosure that has the footprint of ibrahim alayhi salam then what will be the status of Ibrahim salam himself? Remember Makkah used to be all mountains. So now the way they've developed Makkah is they've had to carve the mountains or build on the mountains. Allahu, look at that. I know what you guys are thinking. I don't know what a baby pigeon looks like. Well calm down, I'll show you. Hello, Mr. Baby Pigeon. Aww. Aren't you gonna say anything? Famous. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. This is the mountain of Hira, where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would come and contemplate and meditate. Jabli Rahma, where Adam Alaihi Salam was forgiven after his many years of asking Allah for forgiveness. I'm gonna climb it guys. First phase is done. Here's the second phase. I'm gonna go up that way. Nope, no I'm not. Easier way, where the ladies are. No offense. We're not done yet. And we're done. It's a big drop. Allahu Akbar. Mountains have a strong significance in Islam. We go to Jabal Nur, where Cave of Hira is, Cave of Thor, on the mountain of Thor. We go to Mount Sinai in Egypt, Jabal Rahma, the mountain of mercy, where literally it's jam packed at Hajj season. People asking for forgiveness, just like Adam alayhi salam. Allahu Akbar. This is a symbol of Allah's forgiveness. Amazing, amazing. We just touched down in Medina and Medina is an amazing city, city of the Prophet Sallallahu Many virtues of them such that when the Prophet Sallallahu came with the Sahaba, everyone was falling ill, it was called Yathrib. Prophet Sallallahu said to Allah, Ya Allah, just as you blessed Makkah, with the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam, um, bless Medina because of my sake. And subhanallah, after that, Allah blessed it, and boy did he bless it. You gotta love these umbrellas. Look at that. What an amazing sight. So what happened yesterday was, mashallah, we arrived, found out the time for Maghrib Salah, quickly had a bath, put on my best jibba, which I'm wearing now, you see, put a bit of atar on, and uh, mashallah came, found a decent spot, then um, went to see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is called a ziyara. So done ziyara of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's, that's the gate to enter, in order to do ziyara. And you go through, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is buried, right underneath the green dome so if you come here you're unsure just search for the green dome and then you're in luck me again obviously who else is gonna be we get breakfast at the hotel at Fajr time but uh, after that we normally eat after Dhuhr and Isha so it just becomes a mission trying to find somewhere to eat because obviously the meat over here if it's you have to ask them obviously if it's from here then it's all right but most shops during busy periods they order from uh, different countries such as Brazil and other countries where they stun the meat now I personally don't eat stunned meat um, some people may, it's up to them it's their life but uh, one thing I would suggest is you know if you're thinking of going to Umrah or Hajj uh, make sure the food is provided Oh 
inshallah the guys doing khidma of the Medina Masjid this is what Masjid Nabwi looks like at the Hajjah time let's give you guys a close look here yeah? we've heard the saying the early bird catches the worm but now nah, mate the early bird catches the hasanat the tahajjud hasanat for two days i haven't been able to pray in riyadh al jannah because of the sheer rush and uh, amount of people there it wasn't possible to get there without pushing and barging and you know I'm not of that opinion to pray in a piece of Jannah by elbowing someone in the face I did get a chance to do that today Alhamdulillah I went there for Asr just before Asr and there were people waiting at some barrier and then suddenly the barrier got moved and everybody was rushing towards Irad al Jannah and I followed and Alhamdulillah I did get to pray there. Obviously, I'm not going to take pictures when I'm there. I'm not going to do that. I was too busy worshipping. I'm going to take pictures. Yeah, out your mind. If you want to know what Riyadh al-Jannah looks like, Google it. Good things come to those who wait and do things the correct manner. And there's no point saying, oh, I prayed in Jannah, but I had to kick someone in the face. Look at that. The umbrellas are closed, guys. Looks phenomenal. Looks marvelous. Looks stupendous. Looks superb. Uh, run out of words now, guys. You know, when you spend time in Makkah, it's a bit easier because uh, you can do tawaf, you can sit around the Kaaba, you can pray salah. Obviously, you can do the same in Medina as well, apart from the tawaf bit, you can pray salah. But uh, people tend to get a bit carried away with shopping because they don't have a good set routine. Alhamdulillah, I was given some good advice right at the start. Um, and uh, our guide said that we should try to finish the Quran once in Mecca and once in Medina. So my target is to do at least one uh, completion of the Quran in Mecca and in Medina. Alhamdulillah, I'm well on my way and inshallah I do finish. But it is looking likely. This is what you call an army of cleaners. And look at the star. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Mashallah, I've seen so many disabled people. I'm just coming back from seeing a, an elderly gentleman who's just performed Umrah and he's got no legs. I've seen people with uh, many disabilities who have just come just to visit the house of Allah and Medina and do Umrah, Allahu Akbar. When you look at these people, Allahu Akbar, it makes you question if they can do it, why can't we? Jannatul Baqi. This is most probably the most blessed graveyard in the world. But you can't tell the difference between one buried person and another. This is a place where the Prophet Sallallahu said will be the first to rise on the Day of Judgment after himself. And uh, you can't tell the difference. All the gravestones look identical. You can live like a king or a pauper, but when you die, you're all the same. It doesn't matter when you're dead. All that matters is your deeds. This is Masjid Kuba, guys. If you pray in Masjid Kuba, you get the reward of uh, one Umrah. And uh, Subhanallah, look at the look at the honor that Allah has given to this Masjid that people come from all over just to pray in this masjid. Look how many coaches are here, bro. It's crazy. This is Masjid Qiblatayn. Um, before, as you guys know, the Muslims used to face Baytul Maqdis as the Qibla. And when the Prophet ﷺ was praying here, um, Allah sent Jibreel alayhi salam, um, and then right in the middle of it was either Zuhur or Asr. Um, Jibreel alayhi salam um, brought the message saying the Qibla has been changed to the Kaaba in Mecca. So right in the middle of Salah, the Prophet sallallahu came backwards and changed the direction of Salah. But this is where that took place, Masjid Qiblatayn.
Do you guys go? Very nice. Originally the Qibla used to be in this direction, over here, but now it's over there. And it's an amazing feeling when you're inside, absolutely phenomenal. You can't really describe this feeling knowing the Prophet and the Sahaba were once here and praying in this very same spot that we are now praying, mm, you know, 1400 years ago. The Jeep, people doing some shopping, some sandals here. If you want to buy some sandals, I don't know why you would come to Masjid Qibla Tain to buy some sandals, but some people just do. A lot of dates, guys. A lot of dates. This is where the Prophet ﷺ told the archers to stay in the Battle of Uhud. But then, when the Muslims seemed to be winning, some of the archers came down. And then the argument was that some people said the command of the Prophet ﷺ is only valid uh, until the Muslims won. But some said the Prophet ﷺ said no, we have to stay there no matter what. Yeah. I thought you abandoned us. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Khalid bin Walid style from the side. <laughs> I'll fight you. I'll get up and fight you. Uncle, how, how did you do it? I'm good, man. Alhamdulillah. And I was here before you. Allah. I even challenged you. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Well, no, we were not. challenge, bro. <laughs> but we. <laughs> you abandoned us in the middle of the challenge. Uncle, wait. Yeah. We, you know what, we can't actually... I can't compete can't, with you. Can't, can't verify you. Yeah. I never saw you anyway. How did you really get up here? <laughs> I'll show you how you come now. Come here. No, you didn't. I guess there'd be no steps. No, probably some... Some, some steps. <laughs> some convertible steps. <laughs> This is better than steps, man. This is like, you know what, disabled ramp thing. <laughs> say that thing. <laughs> <Don't> say that <laughs> MashaAllah, we done it. This is Masjid Arish, where the Prophet Sallallahu conducted the Battle of Badr. So he would, his tent was here. Now they've made a masjid here. And uh, he would conduct the Battle of Badr from here. This is the scene around the masjid. The mud houses. And we shall leave here with istighfar that Allah enabled us to come here but we did not and we cannot make the most of this opportunity and fulfill the right uh, as it deserves to stay in Madina to Munawwara. This is it guys. We just left Medina and we're on a I think seven to eight hour coach ride to Jeddah where we're gonna stay the night and then we're gonna fly back in the morning. The seven to eight hour journey has been nothing but desert, palm trees, camels, Allahu Akbar. You could stare at that for hours. It's an amazing sight because we're right in the middle of the desert. We just finished praying Salah here. There's our coach over there. We just finished praying over there. And there's a wuzu place over here feel like bear grills uh, or bilal grills <laughs>